Come on, let's go out and rage. Who gives us stuff about homework? I think I'll give it a miss. What's up? Don't you love me anymore? Well, don't be a deal. We're mates, remember? I'll lead out. Oh, no, you won't. You're staying home and studying. Don't count on it. I've got a social life happening. Well, I could just wait until the weekend to happen. I've organised the tutor for you, and he's starting tonight. Hi, Nick. Stuart. Kirsty, you go. Hey, baby. Miss me? Nick, to home. No, she's a shy type, isn't it, Kirsty? Catch you later. Nick! Be cool. Nick, I'm home. Oh, hello, Stuart. Oh, hi, Mrs. Harrison. How's the studying going? Has Nick ever had any extra coaching before? No. Well, I suppose he should have. He has got a long way behind. I think we'll catch up pretty quickly. Well, we had a few hassles at first, but Nick was just a bit knocked off about the extra study. He didn't give you too hard a time, did he? Oh, no, Mrs Harrison. He was fine. Well, whatever you achieved this afternoon, I'm very grateful. The way I got him interested was I showed him how they need maths to design cars. Really? Good thinking. <laughs> oh, slow down, will you? I've already wrecked my ankle jumping out of the window. I don't want to make things worse. I'd love to check out the look on his face right now. Why? What's the big deal about Stuart? I set it up so he'd think me and you were in the bedroom. Yes, yeah, so we were in the bedroom. Doing you know what? Oh, come off. I didn't even believe that. He's not stupid. What's so stupid about it? You and me. Nobody believed anything that ridiculous. I don't see why not. Anyway, I don't know why he's so down on him. He's a nice guy. He's a dork. He is not. He's a complete wuss. Oh, yeah, and your guy gets his kicks out of jumping out of bedroom windows. That's really cool, Nick. Like, really mature. It's still a dork. How are you feeling, Mr Bailey? Nurse is getting pretty every day. Must make it hard to concentrate, eh, Doc? I hope you're not disappointed, but I'm the doctor and Mr Mills is your nurse. Get on with you. Think I could have a strong sleeping pill tonight, Doc? I had a terrible time getting off last night. <sighs> You'll have to ask Dr Fleming that. I'm a nurse. I don't make decisions about your medication. You? Really a doctor? Afraid so. Well, I'm sure you're a lovely girl, but why don't you trot along and find me a proper doctor? A bloke. Excuse me, doctor. Have you got time to see another patient? What about Dr. Ropata or Dr. Warner? They're both on duty. It's Mrs. Papadopoulos. She insists on seeing you. Oh, I'll be right along. I'll see if I can find a bloke for you, Mr. Bailey. You finished with that? Yeah, help yourself. All right, which one of you set Mrs. Papadopoulos onto me? I tried to see her, really, I did, but you know what she's like? She said it was you or nobody. I'll bet she did. What's wrong with her? Nothing, which is exactly the point. She only comes in when she wants to have a whinge about her marriage. Look, I can't help it if she sees you as being more caring and sharing than me. Right now, I feel about as sharing and caring as a piranha. <laughs> She'll just have to wait. Hey, there's another patient out here. Yours? Yours. I had Mrs. Papadopoulos. But you offloaded her. She offloaded me. Can I help it if I lack charisma? To say nothing of a work ethic. <coughs> your surname, forename, your residential address and occupation. That's great. Grow a moustache. That might help. Well, it's easy for you to laugh about it. You're not the one that gets treated as a social worker. Now you should be flattered. It shows the patients respond to you. Do me a favour, see this patient. No, I can't right now. I've got to go and see Mrs Papadopoulos. And if I don't do it right now, she'll start having kittens. What a woman. Doctor, social worker and now vet. Ha, ha. Chris, buddy. What? Will you take this patient? We've been through that. It's your turn. Chris, I wouldn't ask if it weren't important. Well, why? What's the big deal? I'd just rather not treat him, that's all. Well, what's he got, leprosy? No, it's someone I'd rather not run into. Ah, the plot thickens. Please, Chris, just do it. You remember, you owe me one. Mum, 
What are you doing home? Weren't you going out after work? Well, I was, but it got cancelled. So, how did the coaching go? Coaching? Oh, OK. Stuart was packing up when I got home. How did he say it went? Oh, it didn't say much at all. Enough to give me an idea. What kind of idea? About how you spent the afternoon, of course. Oh. You mean like study and stuff? He's a nice boy, Stuart. I like the way he looks me straight in the eye when he talks to me. Makes me feel I can trust him. So what exactly did he say? Relax, you're not on trial. Where's your gear? I'll put it in the machine. What gear? Your soccer clothes. Well, Stuart told me you had soccer practice and that's why you had to cut the lesson short. Oh, right. You're leaving at the clubhouse. I'll pick them up tomorrow. Oh, okay. And you, you're right. You can believe everything Stuart says. Totally. Got this, Gina. Von Schmidt. Oh, no, bad on this. If we're going to let Claus steal her away from us, he'd better be a baronet at least. Then again, maybe it's a good thing he's a commoner. We wouldn't want Gina getting so important that she'd forget us. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what you say now. Hey, I'm due in theatre. Bully her, will you? Make sure she remembers who her true friends are. Hey, uh, Gina, I'm sorry I missed my chance, but to be honest, I think the best man won. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? <laughs> Come on, you can tell me. <laughs> it was Klaus. He doesn't love me. He only wanted to marry me so he could stay in the country. No, I'm sure that's not true. It is. He told me he even offered to pay me. Pay you? How much? I shouldn't have been so stupid. I should have known nobody ever fallen in love with me. No, that's not true. A lot of men are crazy about you. Yeah, name one. Um, this... Uh... You see, there isn't anyone, and there never ever will be. Oh. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Libby. Uh, the doctor shouldn't be too long. I can see a lady doctor, can't I? I don't want to see a man. No problem. We've got a woman doctor here. Can I have a word with you? Sure. There's no reason why one of the guys can't see that girl. Actually, there We're is. We're all on a roster here. It should simply be the luck of the draw who has to treat whom. I'm fed up with being singled out to deal with all the women's problems. Doctors Warner and Robert are both in theatre. You're the only available doctor right now. Do you want me to send her away? In theatre? Yes, at least for another half an hour. What do you want me to do? <coughs> Libby Hammond? Would you like to come this way? Retractor. White, please. Come on, honey, tell us the truth. The real reason you didn't want to see that patient was because you owed him money. Don't be ridiculous. OK, new scenario. He's a jealous husband who's found out you're doing unmentionable things to his wife. I thought that was more down your line. Sure you're not protesting too much? Hell, he's arrested! OK, defib. Are you getting anything? Nothing. All right, stand back. Come on, come on. Don't you dare give up Stand on me. Stand clear. Press to shock. Don't you dare. Stand clear. Don't you dare give up. Press to shock. You've got him. What happened? Only just. What happened, Graham? I don't know. There was nothing in his history about cardiac problems. I swear it. There was nothing at all. OK, well, we'll worry about that later. Right now, we've got to get scrubbed up and get him out of here as fast as we can. How old are you, Libby? Fifteen. And are you sexually active? I haven't done it yet, if that's what you mean. I've been going with my boyfriend for six months and he want... or we, we both want to. You're sure about that? You're not feeling just a bit pressured? No. I want to. I, I, I just don't want to have a baby, that's all. Well, in that case, the pill can be an option. But it's no protection against sexually transmitted diseases. Are you going to give it to me or what? Look, there are physical side effects with oral contraceptives. They're not generally serious. But still, it's not a good idea to start taking them so young. I don't care. It's got to be better than getting pregnant. Look, he's not going to wait. 
If I have a baby, it's going to be the end of everything. Are you sure that waiting isn't a possibility? If this boy loves you... If you're not going to give it to me, just say so. And I'll go to someone who will. OK, I'll take your blood pressure first. Would you give it to me? Provided everything's OK, yes. Thanks, Gina. Hey, I think you're being really brave. I don't know if I could cope if something like that happened to me. I don't know, I guess I'm sort of used to being dumped on. No, Jeannie, you shouldn't have to get used to it. Everyone thinks I'm a fool. Not me. Look, if things start getting too much for you, or, or you need anything at all, I want you to promise you'll call on me, OK? I will. You've been terrific, Steve. I really mean that. You know, she's right. You have. I believe in helping my friends. Which is why I was so concerned about you and Chris. You don't have to be. Look, Chris and I are getting on really well. The more I see him, the more I like him. You know, there's a warm, sensitive side to him that people just don't get to see. It's pretty hard to see something which isn't there. Steve. OK, we'll talk about the weather. It's safer. <laughs> Sounds like you did a bit of creative talking last night. Yeah, well, maths isn't the only thing I'm good at. Fair enough. Well, listen, man, for what it's worth, thanks for not dobbing. Why would I dob? If your mum knew we didn't actually do any work last night, I wouldn't have got paid. Paid? Yeah, sure, 10 bucks a session. Oh, you didn't think I'd do it for nothing, did you? Wouldn't put it past you. No way. Which reminds me, we've got another session booked tonight. Your mum's already called me. Oh, great. Wouldn't worry. I mean, I don't mind if you don't actually do any work. For all I care, you can watch videos. <laughs> as long as I get my money. Yeah, uh, you got a time for the appendectomy? Yeah, 20 past. OK, see you then. OK. How well do you know the anaesthetist? Graham. Well enough, why? Are you worried about his competency? I thought it would cross my mind. Yeah, well, forget it. Graham's fine. We use him all the time. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, heard you had a tough one. Oh, turned out all right in the end. Which is just as well, because we got an appendectomy at 20 past and I'd hate the woman to worry about her chances. Oh, I don't think that's likely. <laughs> Are we still OK for dinner tonight? Yeah, if you still want to. Of course. Haven't been able to think about anything else all day. Is that true? Absolutely. See you soon. OK. 15. They get younger every year. What happened? She wanted me to give her the pill. I don't like it. She's far too young. It's either that or let her get pregnant. At least she's got the sense to take precautions. I suppose so. Anyway, it's not up to me to tell her how to live a life. Meredith, about earlier, that uh, patient I didn't want to see. Oh, whatever you think should tell me, don't. It's none of my business. I wish Chris felt the same way. <laughs> no chance. He loves to know what's going on. It's a family thing, a bit complicated. It's to do with my fiance. I didn't know you had one. She's still in Guatemala. Anyway, thanks for not pushing it. I'm sorry everyone's still busy, but it shouldn't be too much longer. <sighs> Why aren't you at school? Thought I'd come and take you to lunch. What if your mum sees you? Easy, a lie. You? No, I'm too busy. Mm. What if we do something tonight? I can't, I'm going out. Out where? Just out. Who with? No one you know. Well, how about I come too? Haven't you got another session with Stuart tonight? Yeah, sort of. Well then? Yeah, OK, OK. Actually, I'd better not go out tonight anyway. I've got a maths assignment due. <laughs> if I don't get good marks on that, I'll fail this term for sure. Well, you better get moving on it. Yeah. Or, better still, get Stu baby moving on it. I don't think he's the type to help you cheat. He will if he doesn't know that's what he's doing. And like they say, what you don't know can't hurt you. Hey, any word on this morning's patient? Yeah, and it's good. He'll be in intensive care at least till tomorrow morning, but he's off the dangerous. Uh, the doctors? There was a moment there. Yeah, ditto. But um, I guess it proves one thing. If we're absolutely forced to and we don't have any choice and there's no way of getting around it, you and I don't work that badly together. So, um, how about we bury the hatchet? 
Professionally, at least. Professionally only? Yeah, not socially. Definitely not. Because um, I don't want to be rude or anything, but I don't think you could handle my pace. I wouldn't begin to try. Later. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how are you feeling? All right, for someone whose life's just about over. I've got just the thing you need. In moments of stress, nothing beats it. If I eat chocolate, I'll get fat. And if I get fat, there'll be even less chance of anyone ever wanting me. You won't get fat. I will. And I'll probably get pimples too. And if that happens, I might as well go to the vet and have myself put down. Oh, come on. Things could have been a lot worse. You mightn't have found out that Klaus was using you till after the wedding. It would have been too late then. Maybe. Then again, better to be married once than never at all. Gina, is, isn't there anything I can do to make you feel better? Probably not. Come on, there must be something. Anything at all. Well... Just say the word. Would you take me out tonight? Would you show me a good time? Take my mind off Klaus? Would you do that for me? Sure, I'd, I'd love to. Oh, thank you, Steve. You're the most wonderful person in the whole world. And we're going to have the best time together. Just you wait. There you go. Thanks. No, sorry, there's no ice. That's OK. Chris? Do you think I'm attractive? <laughs> well, yeah, of course I do. I know I'm not as sophisticated as some of the women you've been out with. I was just wondering whether you really like me or not. I like you. Very much. How can I tell? In that case, maybe I should show you how much I like you. Oh, are you sure about this? Why, don't you want to? Why, well, I just don't want you to feel pressured, that's all. Hey, I don't. I feel like this is the perfect time, and you're the perfect person for me to be with. I can't think of a single reason why we shouldn't. I can. You what? Think of a reason. I'm not sure that it's the right time. Why not? Look, you're not forcing me. It was my decision. No, Alison, it's our decision. Well, I don't know. I, I just feel uncomfortable. Like, all the gossip about me is true. Even if it was, why should you care? Because I care about you. Please, Alison, you said I wasn't pressuring you. Well, don't pressure me. I want to be sure we're both ready for it. Stay right here. I'll be back. Uh, where are you going? Alison? So, what do you want to do? Watch TV or what? Actually, I was wondering if you'd help me with some old exam questions. You know, for practice. Oh, really? You want to work? Yeah, well, had to think about it. It's pretty stupid for Mum to pay you for slacking off. So I may as well take advantage of the time that you're here. If that's what you want to do, that's cool. Yeah, Mum's right. <laughs> I've got an attitude problem, so it's time I did something about it. Suits me. OK. Steve, I was wondering what time you want to pick me up. When? Tonight. Look, Gina, you know, I've had a long day and I've got a shocking headache. But you promised. Sometime. I promise sometime. OK, then, if you've changed your mind, I guess I'll just go for a walk by myself, stand on the bridge, think about Klaus. OK, what do you want to do? I thought we could go to dinner somewhere French and romantic, drink champagne, laugh and talk about our dreams and stuff, and then maybe end up at your place for a nightcap. And then whatever happens, happens. What do you think? I think my headache's getting worse. Up some other time, Gina, I promise. Steve! Well, what's this? It's not my birthday or anything. 
I just want to buy you a present. You're crazy. Is this some sort of hint? Of course not. For when you're ready to stay the night. Baby oil? Well, I've read somewhere that there's nothing more relaxing than a good massage. You've probably already got some of your own, but I thought it best to be prepared for when you're ready. You're really serious about this, aren't you? Yes. Well, in that case, it would just be bad manners to refuse. Tomorrow afternoon, we should have results by then. Mum, let go! Where is the doctor that saw my daughter? Is there a problem? Where is she? I saw Libby. How can I help? Well, you can start by telling me why you gave a prescription for the pill to a 13 year old girl. 13? 13. 13! And unless you've got a very good explanation, I'm gonna sue you for malpractice! Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost, it seems I can't the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance of a dream, shine and street. Taking down the whole my place, yesterday's and another place, just living for the times we've seen. When the writing on the wall says I'll be. If you want to find a way of searching for another world, it's hard to see. Shine and stream. This program was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand on air.